<laughs> is that too much? That's probably too much. Is that too much? <laughs> Jamie thinks it's too much. Oh well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. It is fantastic to have you here because we're making some super, super duper awesome patriotic belt buckles. We have the United States Stars and Stripes. Isn't she beautiful? And we have the fabulous Union Jack. Welcome back. We're making belt buckles. It's a pleasure to have you here. Jamie's laughing at me from inside the editing room. That's okay. We're gonna have a killer day. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna use my uh, nice and safe unmatched mounted bench grinder and we are gonna take off the scale and yes consider my tongue a bitten yesterday I said that using the oxypropane torch would mitigate oxidation flashback so we can heat it up with the torch because the torch doesn't oxidize very much well what I didn't count for is we had to get that thumbnail gotta get that thumbnail shot and so we, we let them oxidize a lot so we're gonna have to do a little more grinding later let's see how much by using this <laughs> Okay, I need to go up a grit. This is the Union Jack. It's cleaning up a little better than the US flag on here. Still gotta grind it though. Okay, back to the grinding room. Amazon Prime. Why have you failed me? What is going on? Why are these things arriving tomorrow? They're meant to arrive yesterday. <sighs> Time to drag out the old weld uh, blah, the old welder. <laughs> yeah. It's not working. What is going on? Well, uh, just for a second here, I have to interrupt what I'm doing and this failure at getting a TIG weld, getting a load of parcels picked up, including Liam's sword from the Kopesh collaboration and a load of striking anvils, alexsteelblacksmith.com. Well, you haven't seen me in a little while. Well, really, it was just one scene to the next, but the orders that needed to go out have gone out and my neighbor, my neighbor has come to the rescue. I have, I have a new nozzle for my other TIG welder. So I set up the old TIG welder again, uh, that then didn't work for nothing. And I now have a nozzle. Thank you, oh my goodness. Thank you, Steve. We can now TIG weld our belt buckles. Before I get all excited, I should probably just check and make sure. Yes! It and now, welder, be gone! Woo! Right, let's, uh, let's try and learn how to do this. So I'm gonna need to do some practice. This needs to somehow get welded. To this. Now this isn't a belt buckle, but it's the same kind of steel. It's one of the steels we use for it. This is a piece of welding electrode. This needs to get welded to this. I've got my uh, long sleeve sweatshirt anvil camo on. Make sure that I don't sunburn my arms while we're TIG welding this. Yeah, yeah, right there. And I have absolutely no idea how to TIG weld this. I don't know if I'm gonna have to use filler rod or not. I don't know if I've got thin enough filler rod. I might have to use a MIG wire. Ooh, I don't know. Welding on this hardware is indeed going to be pretty tricky. How did I do it in the past? Well, I used to drill and then MIG weld. Here I just want a TIG weld. Ideally not have to drill at all. So we're going to see how this goes on this little test piece. Okay, I definitely think it needs filler. Oh, that worked a little better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Yes! I thought I was gonna have to do a sequence of like practicing for a million hours, but uh, I think we got this. Yeah, it's gone very badly. Let's have a look and see how strong it is. Oh yeah! That's awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for us to weld on the hardware for these belt buckles. Of course, I'm going to be TIG welding them, I'm going to be taking my time, and since I have no clue what I'm doing, it's time for the time lapse. So I practiced the, the welding to the actual piece, uh, which went rather well. I, I didn't practice then welding on a blob onto the end of it uh, so that it would stay in there. And uh, yeah, it's gone very badly. Okay, so I've put this stick on here and uh, I'm gonna now try and weld that to it to extend it. Hopefully, <sighs> learning a lot of things today. <laughs> a lot of welding oh my goodness I've been sat well, it wasn't a lot of welding but that's the issue it was like oh I, I made a total bead in those two hours of about that length oh my goodness I've taken so much time on it and I needed to take the time this is a really I've never done anything so small and precise and you see people take welding like razor blades together I don't know how you do it this is tiring stuff but the hardware is mounted onto both belt buckles and I think it's gonna be pretty strong. Now what is the next step? So the next step is gonna be lighting the, f yeah, I'm gonna use the propane torch. The next step is, we are gonna turn on the oven. And the reason we're turning on the oven is, these two pieces need to be hardened. Now Alec, why do they need to be hardened? They need to be hardened because that's gonna allow us the most contrast possible with our Damascus pattern.
edges have both been hardened, so I need to treat them very gingerly. And now we're going to go into the tempering oven. So they'll sit there and then we'll come back and finish them up. So that is gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. I can't wait to see you tomorrow on the next episode where we finish these things off. I cannot wait to see these things etched. I can't wait to see you. Make sure you hit subscribe if you're new. We're making videos almost every single day. It's a massive amount of fun building things, being creative, and I hope you guys are going out to your own workshops, your own garages, your own kitchen, wherever it is that you build stuff and are creative and do the same. I'll see you tomorrow on the next episode. Bye-bye.